Lord Asriel in season one was an explorer, an adventurer, a hopeful, positive scientist who wanted to blow a hole in the sky to enter other worlds and free humanity from the tyranny of the Magisterium. You're not leaving! I can't stay! The Magisterium will be on to me by now. Besides, I've got what I came for. Asriel's relationship with Lyra is as horrible and simple as it ever was. I am sorry. But I just don't have time for you right now. He doesn't respect or uh, really honour his obligations as a father. And uh, he's pretty mean about Lyra. But his appreciation of her and his recognition of her extraordinary, unique beauty and how vital she is to the success of this entire endeavour. I looked after this all the way from Jordan College. Fought the Magisterium, enlisted the witches, fought the best, all to bring it to you. And you refuse it? Uh, he needs to own that and realize that by the end of the season, or the goodies just won't win. Call yourself a father. I think that's rather the point. I've never called myself a father. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? That is what makes him interesting to watch because we don't know. He is trying to do, I think, an incredibly good thing. It's time. I know. But he doesn't seem to have any moral problem with doing very bad things to get that good thing done. You may remember that he killed a young boy in season one. His moral greyness has to become defined in season three if they're ever going to beat the baddies. We find him in season three and he knows that the war is even bigger. It isn't just against one institution in one world, it's against the bigger enemy, the boss of the Magisterium, the authority. He's almost intensified in terms of how much he's willing to sacrifice and who he's willing to sacrifice to overthrow that enemy. Welcome to the Republic of Heaven, Commander. The real war is coming, and we must win it. 